Hey, I'm not Harmony, and here's a recap from next week's episode? Just kidding. On last week's episode, we left off with Nova and Talon heading back to the Beast's lair to retrieve some of his remains. A cultist appears before them and tries to prevent re-entry into the lair. The cultist gets the jump on Nova while Talon remains stealth. Her arms are slashed, but she returns a killing blow, ending the fight prematurely. Nova and Talon inspect the cultist and find some pretty standard items. They proceed into the lair's basement and stow away some remains. Nova and Talon then leave through the forest and head on their way to the armory in Zalia. Aubrey is revealed to be at the music store in Zalia and she is given a book about her harp from Zappy Zap himself. Nova and Talon arrive to town and head straight to the armory. Perry promises to have the new items ready by the next morning. The adventurers all regroup at the music store and then head to the local inn for the night. Talon discovered his new favorite food, and Aubrey treated everyone to their own room with strict orders not to mention it. In the morning, the three of them leave the inn and find out that the fountain in the middle of the town has been demolished. They report back to Perry at the armory, and he presents them with some new gear. Talon receives a sword that will always make contact against dragon-type monsters. Aubrey's armor is improved, and Nova gets the daggers that pack quite a punch. The crew has their sights set on the highlands, and after visiting Zalia's chapel, they head off north. A ways down the road, they run into another trash caravan. While they are inspecting the area, they get engaged on by four more cultists. The fight starts with a couple of misses, but then Aubrey lands the first hit. She then lays down a sweet beat to inspire Talon. Nova hits a cultist, but two of the other take shots at Talon. He managed to take one down and badly injured the other. Nova and Aubrey both land critical hits, leaving one cultist left. Nova then lands the final blow to end the fight. The gang inspects the remains of the cultists and divvy up the items among themselves. I now present Troll with Advantage. Welcome back to Troll with Advantage. I am Harmony, a.k.a. Aubrey Weathers. I'm Brandon, a.k.a. Talladega Knights. I'm Janelle, a.k.a. Nova Keldrar. And I am Michelle, your DM. So, you, the travelers, you are now currently on the High Plateaus, overlooking the city of Vesper. So the city of Vesper is a circular city with um, a double-walled barrier. And then you notice that there is like this kind of bluish turquoise dome covering the whole town. And as you approach the city, unlike the rest or the other two towns that you've already visited, the trees seem to be more flourishing. Um, the grass is a lot greener. Uh, you can still hear birds singing and other little critters running around. Vastly, vastly different from what was encountered in Zalia and the edges of Zephyr. As you approach the city, you see these probably like 15-foot gold ornate doors, which are closed, keeping like the whole city basically barricaded off this beautiful star on the door um, and it's seven stars in a circle with lines going in all different directions. To your left, you see a group of four guys in cloaks of all different sorts of colors, not like the cloaks that you've seen before from the cult. And they're all sitting around a fire, just laughing and having a grand old time. What is to our right? Anything? Just the outsides of the city, some shrubs, some trees, like not a forest, but um, because you can see through all the trees and foliage and shrubbery, but just like a definite lush environment. Can I do a performance check on like a drum roll on the door? Like a really cool drum beat? Like you want to drum at the door? Yeah, just like go to the door and just like do a really cool knock. Yes. away. 18. All right, so... You pull out your zestiest knock that you have in your repertoire and do like a really cool 
Somehow, like, a, a symbol even snuck in there. Yeah, which is weird because there's no symbols around. The door, like, this little eye panel from the door opens, and these purpley, glowy eyes answer from the other side. They say, password? Who's asking? Do you know the password? No. The gold little slidey door immediately shuts. After that, really? Wow. Talk about a tough crowd. Where do you think we could find it? Is there anyone around here you think that would tell us? There's those really stingy boys over there. Stingy is not the right word. (laughs) What does that group look like? Um, So they're all sitting around fire, like a little campsite, probably like 50 feet away from the outside of the wall. And they're all just wearing like patchwork cloaks and cloaks of technicolor dreams. (laughs) And just look like they're laughing. Well, Aubrey, you're a little better with the guys. You want to go and talk to them? I'm already halfway there, I believe. <laughs> All right, I guess she's going. I'm right behind her, the like right at her uh, heels, just following. Can I do an intimidation check once I show up? Sure. I'm going to be like, I'm not a cop, but I'm also someone you don't want to mess with. What are you guys doing here? Oh, 14. All right, so you walk over to the group and you notice that they have like some glowing things in their hands and they're like crushing it up and consuming it in various ways, dubious ways. So you go up to them and you say your line like, oh, hey there, pretty lady. Would you like to join us? Uh, Yeah, what are you guys doing there? Well, we got these glowing things. Someone on their way to the city grabbed us these glowing things. And we found that if you like crush them and like heat them up under this like spoon looking thing, they're really great. They're great for you. Well, you like drink it like yeah, out of you the can spoon? Drink it too. It's you can drink it from the spoon, like a soup, but you can also mm. put it in your veins. Talon, I don't think that's a good idea. I love soup, though, especially on the... He really does love soup. Okay. He really brought some really of the tersam goat with and put it in this, I'm sure. That would have been a real treat. Do you bring any of that with, by the no. way? But, you know, it, this isn't quite going to sit as well in your stomach after, I don't think. It's real good, man. I mean, well, where are my manners? I'm Ippa. This is Porter. We got a stout over here. And this is Lager. Well, do you guys know any way of getting into the city? They asked for a password for some reason. Yeah, we know. We tried. Super bummer. We went through like a whole alphabet of basically all the words we know, and none of them were the good ones. How many words was that? Like maybe 10 or 12. Oh, yeah. That's weird. You didn't get it. I know. But the other day... My, my buddy Logger over here was rooting around to see if there's any mushrooms by the shrubs. And he saw like this well thing, but I don't like heights or the dark. And then this guy gave us some mushrooms and then we kind of forgot about it. But then you asked if there's anything that we knew. So we told you and that's where we are right now. What if I told you we had a human ladder? Like of human body parts? Sort of. Just a very tall person. Like this dragon thing? Hey, she's not a thing. thing? She's not a thing. Really? You're going to use me as a ladder? You got a better idea? Well, I I guess not. I guess I could be a help. How deep is this well? I don't know. We were throwing things into it. And we maybe heard the bottom, but I don't know. Well, can you at least bring us there so we can check it out before we start offering up Novo as a ladder? Yeah, we could, but it's it's the mushrooms, and I don't wanna. All right. Well, who of your friends wants to come with? Well, Logger kind of got freaked out because he heard noises, and Porter is... I don't even know where he went. Do you guys know where Porter went? And Stout, I think, is sleeping. What time is it, actually? I don't actually remember from anywhere else. I'm sorry, so I'm going to say it's the afternoon. Like, uh, evening time. Five o'clock. I pull the group aside, and I ask, do you think we, um, maybe we chill these guys in the evening, kind of get them, get chummy with them? 
wake up in the morning, bring him over to the well. Maybe they'll come with us. Maybe they'll I'm help kind of us. worried about Porter, to be honest. Where's he at? True. Yeah, maybe if we help them find him, then they'd show us the well tomorrow. No, I heard the best way to do this is you just go somewhere rest. and put like a piece of, of clothing that has your scent. And then eventually they'll find their way back to the scent. Maybe Porter. We put one of these mushroom soups by the well and maybe Porter will show up, you know? Oh, no, he's right over there. He's okay. wearing this camouflage cloak. He's good. I just forgot that I couldn't see him. I guess he was camouflaged, so understandable. So, like, to the side, I say, maybe we, like, get chummy with them in the evening, spend the night, and then they'll come help us the next day. Plus, we, some of us could use some rest anyway. No. I want to finish this tonight. Who's with me? I don't know. I could use a good rest, but I'd be willing to go check out the well first and then bring them along tomorrow. Once we get in the well, we're in the well. Believe that. I don't know, Talon. What do you think? I'm feeling a bit of a rest. What's everyone at right now? I think we're all full. Well, I'm down two spells, but feeling feisty. Like it's evening time, so if we just wait till the morning, I think we take a long rest. Yeah. Then you have all your spells back and everything. I call loggers sleeping bag. I get a sleep with <laughs> logger. I was thinking if we chum up with them, maybe they'll come with nicely and it'll be a nice little double party. Sounds good to me. Well, everyone's happy you know, when loggers around. Yeah. Before y'all get cozy here, we want to ask them. I oh, I don't see any of you wearing cloaks, and you see all of us have these really cool cloaks on, and you guys are not wearing any cloaks. Well, luckily, so... we have three cloaks right here. Perfect. Those are some scary-looking cloaks, man. Yeah, they care for some scary-looking people, but they're ours now. So, can we uh, chill yeah. with you guys for the evening? What happened to the people? Did you make the ladder out of them? Yes. In maybe, a way, yes. Maybe once we have it's a... It's collapsible. Why don't we have a little campfire tonight and we can tell you the whole story? That sounds rad, man. Do you want some mushrooms? I think I'm good for now. Like, to cook with? I love cooking. No, yeah. no, no. He doesn't really like mushrooms. No. I'm more love- of a wake and bake kind of gal. I love mushrooms. Wake and bake? Like, wake up in the morning and... Like muffins? Anything. Yeah, like that. These guys know what I mean. Don't you logger? Yeah, man. Well, I guess I cozy up to the fire and uh, ask what brings these guys all together. Well. I ask this is Stout, specifically. Uh, the stout's sleeping, man. Oh, Stout's sleeping? Wh- whoever's road. awake. Yeah, so we were on the road, and then we saw each other in, I don't remember where, but we were all wearing cloaks. And then we all started talking, and then we became friends. And we've just been traveling around trying to get all these cool things to eat and smoke. So, like, then just before you came to this town? Yeah. What town is this anyway? Mm, Vesper? I don't know. Sounds yeah. gone. Vesper? Just before here, the town is called Vesper. Yeah. Just before you came to Vesper here and settled at this campsite, someone gave you some glowing orbs. Yeah, mushrooms. These guys right here in my hand. What did this person look like? Like, who is this person? I don't know. They were kind of tall. They had pointy ears, long, like flowing hair, and he was wearing a cape too, but he didn't want to join us. And he saw that we had been trying to get into the city, but then gave us these things. And then we made camp here. You know, that kind of sounds like uh, my ex-boyfriend, to be honest. He Your sort ex-boyfriend of... ran around town giving mushrooms to people? Yeah, I don't know if I'd really trust those mushrooms. Your call, though. You guys seem pretty adventurous. I don't know. We've already been doing them for hours, and they're pretty great. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's not my boyfriend then. He had really shitty stuff. No, this stuff is good. Okay. It's good, man. I would like to say we're all a bit of connoisseurs of soup. For sure. For sure. Me too. I think I'll just... Here's a bowl for you. I said I'm a wake and bake. I thought we we had an agreement. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to hold off at least for now. Thank you, though. That was very kind of you. All right. I've already drooled oh. so much on lager that he's, like, left me alone in the sleeping bag. I, like, have my spoon already, like, halfway up to my mouth. I slapped the spoon out of his hand. It smelled so good. 
Yeah, well, you'll understand when you get older, but for now, I highly recommend you don't eat that. Okay, if you say so. All right, why don't we try and get some sleep? Yeah, there's like a couple like old blankets and like random fabrics around and stuff that you can use or you could just sit by the fire even as well. Okay, cool. I might grab a, a blanket and just sleep by the fire. Okay. Me too. I guess next to like a tree or something or whatever's nearby. Kind of just yeah, there's a tree. Back to like a tree. Everyone in the group passes out. And we all wake up holding time. hands. All right. How is everyone feeling this morning? Got, got. Oh yeah. Can I be making them breakfast? Yeah, sure. Cool. So I'm like whipping up whatever they had around the fire, making everyone a good nutritious breakfast. All right, guys, time <laughs> to wake up. Those are those mushrooms in there. They smell really good. Like I said, we'll do that another time. Don't worry about it. I've got some good stuff in here. Is it your classic cheese and bread soup? Yeah, just don't tell them, okay? That's all I have. secret's safe with me. All right, eat up, guys. We want to get to that well. I'd like to think that I snuck a mushroom or two. <laughs> <laughs> like you just took them or you yeah, actually ate them? Yeah, like I've already ate, ate them. them. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, wait, you ate them, Harmony? Yep, two of them. So the rest of the the guys wake up. Wow, that was pretty rad last night. These are some good stuff. Yeah, yeah, eat uh, up this uh, breakfast. Oh, breakfast. Breakfast, that's so nice. I haven't had breakfast in a really long time. Oh. All right, well, what do you say? Can we head over to the well now? Oh, yeah, the well. What have you, you got to lose? Can in the way of the well? Yeah, sure. It's right over there. And he points towards that area. Oh, that, that well. I was describing That's the, the well you're talking about. Wow, we are so close this whole time. There are rumors that maybe it gets you into the city, which we kind of want to do because that's where the mushrooms came from. But well, uh, are you sure you don't want to join us then? Uh, I don't know. It's probably really dark and scary down there. Well, I mean, are these guys all humans or where are they? They're all humans. Okay. Don't you guys have like torches or something? Oh, yeah. We've got some sticks. We can light those on fire. Perfect. Then, like, you have torches? You can go down there? We're a big group. Like, who's going to mess with a big group like us? Yeah, I'll keep you safe. We got a big dragon born. Like, come on. All right. You I got a sword just, shield. Yeah. Let's go. Aubrey over here to like, killer songs. Perfect. Let's do it. I, I just keep listening, like, listing stuff and trying to recruit them, I guess, as you guys, like, walk Even past me. Even though they're me, on they, board. Like, walk past me. They're already, like, heading they're towards already the well. going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you head off towards the well um, through the foresty shrub area, and you see this, it's probably like a six foot diameter well going into the ground, um, probably three feet high stone circle, like the stones in a circle all around it. It looks old, like it hasn't been used in a very long time. All right, well, maybe I should check it out first. I might be able to jump down there. Maybe drop something in first to hear the distance. Sounds good. Okay, so I drop down a rock. The drop is about, from what you can tell, anywhere between like 13 to 16 feet, somewhere in that area. Doing my my maths, my, my homeschooled math that my mom taught me. Yeah. So it's about 13 to 16 feet, so that's a, that's, that's pretty far. I mean, maybe if I kind of just hang over the edge a little bit, drop myself down. And I, I try to do like a tuck okay. and roll at the bottom. Yeah, I should be fine. All right, so I attempt that. Okay, do an acrobatics check. So I got 22. Nice. So you go over top of the well, have your hands on the edge, and you're kind of dangling down. And then you drop, and then you roll it out, like making it look super easy and effortless. No damage. All right, I kind of clap off my hands. All right, who's next? I can catch you guys. Well, that looked easy. I go next. Acrobatics check. Can you try to catch me? Sure. Do I have to roll as well then? You can roll for a strength check. Okay. 21. I got 11. So um, Talon leaps down the well. He kind of tries, he does exactly what you do and you kind of like go to catch him but you miss, but it doesn't matter because he just rolled out anyway. Okay. I, I kind of picture I do like a, like, I kind of do like those Mario, like slide down kind of partial of the way. Like <laughs> I'm sort of like in a coach's huddle with the other four guys and I've sort of like drawn out the game plan. 
and they all sort of like, one of them hangs off the top, the next guy climbs down to the legs, and they keep doing that until we get to the bottom. And of course, me, I just am the first one to use this device. <laughs> wow. Little, little human down. ladder. Yes. Aubrey, that was quite clever. Nicely done. I know. But then I like accidentally trip the guy at the bottom, they all fall. <laughs> oh, I take that back. Engineering so, check. Yeah. <laughs> They are all kind of stumbling around, but they don't really notice too much because they're still pretty zonkoed. True. They have torches on them, but they're not lit right now. Oh, and shoot. that's all like the quote unquote weaponry that they have. Are we able to see like me and them? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Is, is how dark is how dark is it? If we, if we so there's down. like still coming from the top of the well, and you can see everything. Which so what, what are our paths? Is that and, first question? And my second question is at Aubrey. But first, what are our paths? Or hmm? choice? What, what are our choices, I guess? Oh, you can only go one way. Okay. So, does Aubrey have, what's it called? Minor illusion? Can you correct create light at all? Can you no. see minor? No, okay. I don't Nada. believe so. No one has any, like, none of these guys have a cantrip, like, like, prestidigitation or, like, thaumaturgy or anything, to, like, or like, things that can light, like, a, a torch. If you try throwing nope. a couple of cherry bombs, maybe we can get a light. Those just go like crack. Like it's literally those There's things no you spark? buy at the, at the gar. No. So what do we have all these for? It was like for distractions. Could use those for a fight. That's for sure. It'd be great to like throw like a handful of them somewhere. And be like. Brrr. You have a candlestick, don't you? Yeah, we gotta light it. And a candlestick's not even really that bright. It's mostly just for like reading, I would assume. They have torches. We just need something to light it with. That's all. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, yeah. there's no. Fire breath that Nova has or anything? I don't know if that would... I don't think fire lightning breath is very like... What if one of you guys give us a strength check to like rub the sticks together? Oh yeah. We, I think we just go... Now that they're, not, now that they're all down here, we just go down the hallway and, and you and me can see because we're half elves. I'm back in the huddle with the, all the guys. And we'll and find I'm, a fire eventually and like light yeah, it. I just maybe. say, let love be your light. Break. What about me? You're going to be the anchor in the middle of this group. It's going to be like one of us in the front, one of us in the back, and then... Them and then you right in the middle. Who me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll be in the middle. All right. So you guys start walking forwards. Probably the spellcaster and... in the back. Yeah, I'll be in the uh, back. No, but if you put your arms out like span wise, the the tips of your fingers reach along the edges of the the tunnel, so you kind of can guide yourself that way. Okay. But yeah, you keep walking, and all of a sudden you reach this block in the tunnel. And it has seven stars in a circle on it, but it's a wall. Wasn't there a design like this when we got in the city? Oh, yeah, I think at the door. The front the door. door had the same design. Right. So it's like the doors just extend right underground. They dug down deep and just have like walls going down to the core. So I do another performance check to do another drum roll on this door. Yep. It's got to be some better people behind this one. And <laughs> that one. So you start doing your same kind of rat a tat tat that happened on the front door, but uh, you end up just making your knuckles all really bloody. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. That's all right. Um, well, <clears throat> this maybe is something to do with the password or something. Can I like see the kind of inspect the like whatever you want to do to inspect the wall? Yeah. The world perception check. 17. Yeah, so you definitely recognize the pattern from the same, like, as the same from the entrance on the door to the town. And you, like, start feeling the wall to see if anything, like, happens when you touch it. Uh, but nothing does. So this wall is just, it's just a patterned wall. Who's good with history? I have some history, historic knowledge. Could I roll for, to see if I know anything about it? Yep. Oh, sorry. The old floor die. That's a good roll, too. I have 14. All right. So you do remember while you were in school learning about this symbol and how it relates to the gods and particularly the god Andros. So you know that this is his symbol. All like right. The symbol on the door to Vesper. I believe and I have a book of his. Yeah, check your book. I open the book. So you flick through the pages and you see, like, everything is written in a language that you've never seen before. But as you're flipping through the pages, you do notice, you see the same pattern. Um, so there's the seven stars in a circle. 
And then on the wall, there's just the seven stars. But in your book and on the door to the city, there were lines connecting the stars together. Are we thinking write this in blood? That uh, crossed my mind too. I don't know. Maybe if you like try pressing those stars again and do it sort of in an or- they, order. They didn't, nothing happened when we did them. I could touch them, I guess, in order. I touched them in the order. That's the Connect. lines kind of connected. Yeah. And nothing happens. Maybe we should write it in beer. I asked Stout Lager and, and the group if they all have their, their respective beer names. Beer club. I asked them, do, do they have, do, do you guys like come from families that make like these beers? What kind of a question what, is that? What is beer? What's beer? We have a diverse name, continent, I feel. My name's Ippa. IPA, that's not a beer. It's Ippa. Yeah, but yeah, Lager. It's Ippa. All right. Well, I didn't say anything about Ippa. I was talking about Stout, Lager, and Porter. Well, Stout is named Stout because he's fat. And Porter's British. Lager, he's named Lager because he's just logging around all the time. You know, when people are really slow, they call him a logger. He literally is like a lumberjack. Yeah, he does that too in his spare time. Oh, wow. man. I've How'd been you duped. Guess that? All right. Well, you know what? I, I think that I have some. Uh, I actually realized that I have a bottle of ink in my bag. Maybe we could use that. Just smear ink all over this wall in the order. Do it. I'm for it. What do you think, Aubrey? Is that a good idea? Just do it. What can it hurt? All right, here we go. Let me see the picture. I'll try and make it the same. And nothing happens. Oh. My yes. knuckles are already pretty bloody. Just smear your knuckles in the inky wall now. That is true. I, I, I asked the I asked the beer the beer club if they have any uh just let me do my knuckles, okay? You want to do the knuckles? Okay, Yeah, I go and drip my blood in the same pattern. The wall starts to, like, shake, and it separates down the middle and opens up to the sides of the of the tunnel. I look it's back always blood. And I say, you guys owe me. Nicely done. All right. Well, I can't see too well. What do you think is coming up next? Are you going to continue going down the way that it's going? Yep. Yes. So, four boys in front I, this time, though. Sorry, who's in the front? I still want to be in the front. The four boys are at uh, least in front of me. Oh uh, yeah, you can stay in the back still. Okay, that's good because then, then if anything happens, you can still, with your casting, you can still cast over like yes, like a quarterback. Plus you, plus, you also have a bow. As you proceed down this dark hallway, you start hearing noises and the fluttering of a winged creature. Winged creatures. What do you think that sound is? Like a little bit of like screeching happening. Yeah, is your town known for like animals, birds, or anything? I don't think this is their town. I think they're just nomads. I guess they just go forward with their guard up. So yeah, the wings and the screeching gets a lot louder as you continue forward. The water underneath your feet. Like, the echoing makes it very hard to be stealthy right now, just because it is super loud. And then, plus, you have the beer club in the back just rambling on like idiots. So so they call you, themselves the beer club, but they I, don't know what beer is. They're perma-high. It's very on the nose. Or, or maybe we just call they're them They're perma-high, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, like, I don't know. Let's keep the uh, beer club in the back there. I'm in Aubrey, the back. you, beer club, me. Something like that. All right. As you approach, the fluttering all of a sudden stops, and they've all been alerted to your presence. And there are five kobolds, five winged kobolds, right in front of you. Whoa! And roll what for are... initiation. Um. Talon. Six. Oh, sorry. What did you get? Oh yeah, uh, five. All right, and okay. I got. At Nova. I got sixteen. Aubrey. Seven. All right, so uh, Nova goes first. All right. Um, you sorry, they're can't cur- see. Oh, right, I can't see. Okay. But you can hear them. All right, well, I'm going to, for the first time, use my lightning breath. How does that work again? You have like an area, like the cone-shaped area that you go out in front of you, and uh, people, I think they have to make a saving throw. It's con. Right. What's it's your dex? con? What's your con? Two is my con. So everyone needs to make a DC 12. 
or beat that, I guess, or else they get hit. Yes. And five foot by 30 feet long, how, how are all these guys going to get hit? Where are you in the lineup? Oh, I have to roll. She's like second I back? was second, but I was, sorry, I would probably say that I step in front and just go right at her with the, okay. the lightning. Oh, okay, it fried. So that oh, way. Oh, yeah, and you're yeah. taller, too. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so I just have to beat uh, 12. Right, and I have to roll for... No. Oh, did you hit us? Like, do we have to roll for beating this? Con- or, no, because I, I stepped okay, nice. in front of you, okay. right? Yeah. yeah, I would assume that you would make an alert... Uh, that you're doing your dragon breath. <laughs> nice. Watch out, guys. <laughs> All Duh. the beer people. Cry, <laughs> everyone. I think it's 26, and they make a half. If they, if they save, they be happy. A three and a one. Okay, so I have to still make saving throws. Okay, so nine. Eight. Ooh, man. These kobolds are not... <laughs> Fry him, Nova. Okay. So the two in the farthest thing um, are not hit by it, but unfortunately, Porter is not really paying attention to what is going on, and he is in the line of fire and gets hit as well. Oh no, Porter! Yeah, how much damage did you do? A three and a one. Okay. They all are looking a little crispy. They would all no take the damage, and then even the, even the two that missed take half. Or I think they were just farther away. Is that why they didn't get hit? Or no, they, no, no, they would take half. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, I see. The two, yeah. but nice. Okay. Is um, Porter dead? No, I think yeah, he's okay. No, damage. Porter's not dead. Okay. But he, his hair is on fire. So you have like a brief moment of light in the tunnel because his hair is now, his head is now a candle torch. Put me out! Put me out! Put me out! Put me out! There's fire on my head. Okay, can I just like take my hand and just like place it right on top of his head? As a bonus action. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. He's uh, pretty traumatized from what happened. And you just hear, because you can't see him. He just There's like just something that just like thuds on the ground. Okay. Did we see what thudded on the ground? Yeah, you could you see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not dead. He's just in shock, kind of. Oh, so, he, so after she puts him out. That was him that we heard. Okay. I just make sure. <laughs> okay, so the kobold in the front is flanking with the other kobold in the front, so they get advantage on this, though. And that is a 16. Okay, I have a 13, so that's a hit. Okay. So the kobolds have, like, rocks in their hands, and he just chucks a big old rock at you. (laughs) And it does five damage. And then the second one attacks you as well. With a 20... Kobold is angry. Understandable. Yeah, they make uh, six, what was it, six damage? All right, guys, I'm going to need some help over here. It is now the beer club's turn to attack, (laughs) and they are rolling with a disadvantage because they're high and they can't see really that well. Swing for the wings. No. No. A natural one. So Wagner picks up his torch, which is not lit, and just goes with his hands above the air and like just does like a chopping motion with the stick in his hands, hoping to hit something. But he ends just up whacking Talon on the head and you take two damage. Ow, I said swing at the wings. I just used my whacking stick. And now it is Aubrey's turn. All right, I use my harp to uh, shoot the nearest kobold. That's a 13. Uh, that's a hit. And five damage. You shoot him right out of the air and he falls on the ground. He dead. Nice. And now it is Talon's turn. Is there anyone in reach of my, my sword? We just uh, you have to move up closer. Yeah, if I, if I, if I move up, though, the, they're not flying too high, I guess. It's a short enough. No. Okay, sweet. No, no, no. Yeah. So I guess I just swing at the next one that I could find. You kind of have to do the same thing that whatever his face was doing. Who did I say it was? Logger? What was he doing, sorry? With his torch, like, above his head, like, as, like, a thing. That's kind of how you have to move your sword. Okay. I'll do that, I guess, at the next, at the closest. Okay. Um, Roll. That's a 12, 13. 
Uh, 13 is a hit. Sweet. 10. Okay, he is dead. You'd make a nice slashy slash. Both of his wings come off and he's on the ground. See, that's what I mean when I say swing it, aim for the wings. All right, give me a shot at, another shot at this. All right, Nova, you're up. So I'm gonna just go, cause there's so many people that kind of involved now. I'm gonna, I'll go for the fist and dagger again, like step forward towards them and maybe whichever one is closest. Okay. Um, you're rolling oh. with disadvantage right now. Oh, okay. So you roll your d20 twice. Okay. 13 and, ooh. Well, that doesn't matter. The 13's lower. Yeah, so the 13 is still ahead. Well, okay. Okay. All right, so that's a natural eight, if that matters. Uh, no, plus, but Oh, you... plus I get plus four on top of that. So, 12. Yep, so that's a hit, and you use your dagger, and you slash upwards, and another kobold comes, like, you hear him fall from the, the roof, and he makes, like, a screeching sound as he falls to his death. Can I also punch another one that's close by? Or yeah. is there enough close enough? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So I have to roll with disadvantage again? Yeah. All right, so 10? That is not a hit. Okay. Now it is the kobold's turn. How many are left, are... real quick? Sorry? Two? How many, two are left, sorry? Uh, two, yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry, just, yeah, just checking. And they're going to attack Porter. One of my favorite beers back in Zephyr. And, um... How do you know beer? Drinking it is 16 in Zephyr. I don't know. I feel like the continent. Why? Yeah. You're from a monastery. How do you know anything about alcohol at all? I know things. <laughs> Ooh, zinger. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm already sass is rubbing off of me, I think. All right. Let's just focus on the fight. It tends to do that. Kobold has a rock in between its like legs and goes right over Porter's head and drops this rock and Porter is now smooshed under this rock. Portski? <laughs> no. Oh no. The other kobold goes after Talon, but it's not a hit. So we're going to go with the beer boys who um, are still left. Beer boys, beer boys. Uh, no. Oh, that one's a hit. So uh, Logger grabs his little torchy. Actually, he grabs some stones. He throws the torch down on the ground because he thinks that it's useless. Um, the torch is now saturated in the swamp water. Okay. But he grabs some stones and throws them up towards the remaining kobold and does one damage, one little stone damage. Nice. As long as you aim for the wings. Good hit. And then Ipa is going and he gets a natural one. So he runs towards where he thinks everything is because he can't see that well. And um, takes his torch and ends up hitting Talon on the head for two damage. Freaking guys. And then the last one we have is Stout. And he also rolls a natural one. Holy cow. The and odds. he runs up. He has, like, he's gone for, like, a new strategy. So he's, like, scooped up all of these stones up from the, the oh, bottom. And he, like, right. tosses them, like, granny shot into the air, hoping that he'll just hit <laughs> something. And thankfully, the kobolds are in the area, and everyone takes one damage from the stone the stone rain. Okay. Ow, guys, you got to be careful. I'm really hurting here. Why do we bring these guys with again? Look at how many stones. Stones I'm getting off the beer train though. soon. Look at how many stones. All the stones. My You're, turn now? There are lots yeah. of stones. You're right. 13. That's a hit. Uh, let's do some damage. Three. To the nearest cobalt with my harp. All right. And you shoot him again right out of the air and his body thuds to the ground. He is dead. Nice. Boop, boop. Woo. And Talon, one more kobold. It's all you. Oh yeah, swinging right at him. 14. That's a hit. Seven. And with your sword, you uh, kind of stab it up into the air 
and he is dead too. Falls yeah. to the ground. So now you just have all these kobold corset corpses on the ground. And poor Porter is still underneath the rock. I guess I would quickly run over right after I stab and try to pull the rock off Porter. You pull the rock off and he is no more. Ooh, I, I roll back on. I'm sorry. I, uh, what happened? We can't see anything. Nothing. Nothing happened. Porter's just taking a little rest. He might need to stay behind. You know how Porter was oh, missing earlier? That sometimes. Porter might be missing for a bit longer this time. Like, you guys should go, like, maybe, like, when you move on to your next campsite, if you decide to do that, maybe just, like, don't worry about him. You'll catch up maybe one day. Yeah, I mean, he was just telling us how much he wanted to go to the tunnel and be in a tunnel. He actually said really Perfect. weird. He had a dream last night that he wanted to like sleep in a tunnel. So oh, That's so dark. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. What a cool dream. I mean, it's perfect. He, he's somewhere around here. I just think he's, he's, uh, he's napping and he didn't want us to tell you where he was. So don't worry about it. I'm in the huddle again. That I'm just like, he's a, he's, he's a mysterious kind of guy. He's Bro. just one of those wandering guys. He's Huddled always up. the one oh wearing the God. camouflage cloak too, so we have problems finding him. It's all it's all good. I'm just trying to get across the message that dreams do come true. May he rest <laughs> in peace. <laughs> all right. Can we um investigate these kobolds? See if they have anything on them. No, they don't have anything of importance, like anything, because they've been using like stones and sticks to fight with. Okay. So they don't have any weapons. They don't have any money on them. Does the path go on farther behind them? Yeah. All right, guys. We got to do a quick regroup. We just got to keep going down this tunnel. All right, as long as you tell me what's going on. I only have one hit point left just as a note. Really? I'm like... Well, maybe we should heal her. Let's take our chances. (laughs) There's one healing ward or something. No. Okay. No? If we get into a fight, though... Before we get into the fight, try to get one off. So you guys continue down the tunnel. You can tell that the tunnel is curved in nature. As you keep moving forward, in front of you, there's a stone wall. To your left, there is an opening. And as you pass through that opening, you can either go left or right. I always just default left in my life, but I'll go right. Oh. Okay, then I'll go right too, I guess, if we're going right, because I might I need to split up. Well, I can't see, so I'm going wherever you're True, going. True, I guess they can't see either, so we're just going to, uh, if you're going to have to go right, then we'll go right then. Copycat. Like, I we just, I don't want to split up down here, so I guess you go right. All right, so as you head to the right, the watery noise under your feet becomes a little bit more crunchy, a little crunchy on the crunchy side, and Nova, you don't know what this is. Because you can't see. But as Talon and uh, Aubrey look down, they can see, like, the bones of maybe human, maybe elf, maybe gnome, maybe dwarf, maybe For the sake of it, for the people who can't see, I'm like, wow, there's so many sweet seashells down here. (laughs) And then I reach down to touch one, and, like, I fake saying, like, ow, ow, they're sharp, though. Don't, don't, don't grab them. Don't touch them. It's not. Can I do a bone jig? What is that? Like a dance? Like a dance of the bones. (laughs) A jig. A bone jig. On top of the bones? Yeah. Go for it. 17. All right. So you start doing a nice little tap dance on top of the bones. And they're crunching. And no one else can see you. So this show is predominantly for Talon. And um, most of my shows are. Uh, yeah, so Talon, you just see this, you see Aubrey just doing the bone jig. I'm just clapping along, excited. Come on, everyone, clap, clap, oh, all right, oh, uh. Are you sure it's seashells underneath us? Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of, like, looking, looking at myself, like, like guilty, kind of, because I'm lying about it, but, like, I just, I feel, I feel like it's pretty the, unsettling to see these, uh. Are these beer boys following us? Yeah, they can't see, though. I think the same they, formation, they maybe. They started clapping because... Talon was Except, now you're, yeah, perfect. Because we're gonna keep moving on down the tunnel. Yeah, so you keep moving um, right down this tunnel, and at the end, again, only Talon and 
Aubrey can see this, but there are two dwarf corpses that still have like bits of their armor and like satchel on them and stuff like that, like sitting up against the the back of the wall. I guess we go check them out, right? Yeah. Guys, there's a couple of dead guys here. We're just gonna check them out. All right, careful. As you approach the dwarves, you can see that they're just wearing like these really, or they were wearing these really like raggedy, like it wasn't armor that they had been in while they were down here. Like they looked completely unprepared to enter this um, this tunnel. And they just look like whatever Gotham like pierced them. So in the middle of their chest, there's like these two piercings going through them, like something large, like a, kind of like, like a spider bite kind of looking thing. No, like they're much larger than a spider bite. Hypothetically, if a large spider were to bite, like you know when you see a spider bite on your like on your leg or something, it's like a mosquito it's bite, like but there's two holes. Dots. Yeah, there's... it's like that, but like much bigger um, on their chest, like both of them on their chest. Can I do like I guess like a I don't know like some kind of check? Do I know anything about this? Can we? Would I know what what made these bites? Yeah, you could do a general knowledge check. What would I ro- just roll for that? Just intelligence, raw intelligence. Uh, yeah, do intelligence. Seven. Um, so you don't. E- exactly know what they came from but you can tell that it was not a fair fight and these guys kind of got wrecked fight. any coinage on them yeah like what's that satchel there's nothing in it it was empty and they're wearing were they wearing you said they're wearing armor at all like anything that would no they weren't wearing any armor oh, okay just they're just dead dwarves yeah that have been pierced somehow all right what did you guys find are we uh good to keep moving or maybe we should go try that left way Oh, yeah, well, oh, it's right. Is, is there anywhere else we can go here past the doors? No. It was just no. a dead end? Yeah. Maybe this is like a lair, like a nest. All the bones are here. I mean, uh, see, she, I mean. Uh, what? <laughs> guys, we should probably go back the other way, maybe, and keep your guard up. Oh, man. They're all bones. Ugh. Uh, I go in front. Kind of the old way. I go in front. The beer boys. Nova, then Aubrey. Aubrey, maybe. Does that sound good to you guys? Sounds good. All right, so you go back from once you came, and at that point where you made the decision to go right in the first place, you now go left, and you keep walking, and in front of you there are three directions which you can go. You can keep walking straight, you can go right, or you can go left. What's going on, guys? Why did you stop? I say we stick to one direction now. we got a maze going on here. It's branching three ways. I'm going to – I pull out, like, my notebook, and I start – I'm just going to keep a little bit of a map here. Oh, good idea. What do you think, Aubrey? Which direction so we went left. are you feeling? Michelle, we went left, and then we went through a opening, and it was three ways. After your cobalt fight, you kept walking. Yep. You came to the opening. There was just a left way to go or a right way to go. So now we're going left. So now you're going left. The right way was a dead end. Yep. And now you are headed left, and now there is a left, a right, and a straight for you to go through. The um, pathways off to the right and the left are much smaller than the one going forward. Let's just go forward. Let's go forward. Yeah, we'll keep going forward. Let's keep going straight for now. Right, sounds good. Okay, we keep going straight. I'm assuming these are like branching sewer pipes, like now at this point, probably. Yeah, I mean, you can still, you can still like, Nova would have a little bit more of a difficult time getting through them, but like. You and Aubrey would be fine, and the humans would be fine. Well, like, our main yeah, yeah, our main goal going into here was to get into the city, and so I'm assuming we want to go on a main sewer pipe until we find a like a manhole or something, or some way of up. And so, but also keep our guard up because who knows what what's what, what that thing was. Um, there is a left option and a right option. Both of the tunnel sizes are exactly the same. The same as what we're in right now, or the yeah. same as last yeah, time. Yeah, like same the main width, the main same. tunnel size. Okay. I vote left, I guess. Left, sure, let's left, go left. Left takes us back towards where we started, I think. But Oh, I know, no, 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 we came from that way. Okay, yeah, let's go left. Yeah, okay. we'll go left. As you walk do we, like, left. Do we, percept, like, do we notice anything? Like, it's the, same, the tunnel just feels totally the same. There's no, like, change in, like, anything, smells, temperature. No, the smell is still disgusting. Okay, There's just... still, like, crunchy liquid under your feet. Okay, great. Straight up gross sewer. Yeah. As you peer left, because of your dark vision, you and Aubrey can see that it leads off to a uh, a dead end. And there seems to be, like, 
the wall of bars going across that way. Bars? So it looks like a dead end, like, like a barred off end that continues past that, but it's just barred off in the middle. Yeah, but you can see like past the bars that it looks kind of like maybe it was a cell or something like that. Oh, so let's head back right. Yeah, let's go right then, I guess. Okay, so you're going right, and then because of the way that this like the tunnel is laid out, you go right, but it ends up being like like a U turn almost. That makes sense. Which direction does it turn? So like, now we're going back. It's the same direction yeah, as the main just tunnel. Like walls. There's just like walls in between. So you go down that path. It kind of feels like you're in a spiral a little bit, a little bit of a spirally sort of feel. Also, if we take the U-turn, we're not necessarily going back the same No, spot. It, it's just like running parallel with the first time we went. I'm assuming yeah. those side tunnels maybe connect these two main tunnels, maybe. Yeah. Well, we just got to keep following this U-turn now. Yeah, we, I guess keep following this main tunnel because last time it ended up in a dead end with the doors, but if we have to keep following this U-turn tunnel. Okay. So as you keep walking down, you hear like this uh, this skittering sort of noise. Aubrey and Talon, can you roll perception check, please? 14. 10. Okay, so Talon notices a little bit ways down that like the walls are getting like a little bit more full of like this sticky substance. Oh boy. And um, as you look up, you kind of see, because you haven't been looking up for like a really long time. So you look up and you see like these little cocoony things coming down from the the ceiling. Oh boy. Guys, there's, look up. Or I mean, sorry, I guess Opry, look <laughs> up. And you see the web with those cocoons. What, what guys, what do you see? Hope you guys like spiders. Mm, my favorite. Is there anything in those web cocoons like like people or is it just like... There definitely are people-sized web cocoons. Oh, boy. I take one of the beer boys by the hand and lead him to this area, and then I just tell him to poke up with his, one of his sticks. He's like, oh, it's squishy up there. Just keep poking. I guess we keep moving forward. Guard up, though. Like, Oh, there's more to go still? I, thought I think it's a dead, dead end. end. I think it just keeps going. No, I think no, it's okay. just getting worse and worse. No, so. it's not a dead end. Okay, okay. You just like as the deep, like the farther you go in this direction, the more webs and stuff get in your way. So Nova, you definitely start feeling webs on your face. Oh, guys, what do I keep walking into? I told you. I hope you uh, hope you like spiders. Oh, great, great, thanks. You begin to hear like this little this skittering noise coming closer towards you. Guys, it's, I think it's something's coming. Do you hear that? Oh man, I'm not really feeling up to a battle. All right, what is your um, walking order, marching order? I'm in the lead, and then, okay. the, then the beer boys. And then okay. me. Then I'm in the back. Okay. okay. Yeah, so you keep traversing forward, and then all of a sudden, from the darkness, a huge giant spider lunges at you. Roll for initiation. Talon got a 22. Okay. Nova got five. 14. Okay. This is a bit different than uh, when my, my mom had me kill the spiders into her shower all the time. But I'm pretty experienced at this, so I, I just take a big old swing at the spider, I guess. Yeah, it's very, very large. And I try to hit it right in the like the the, the eyes area, that right like that in that, that, the eye area? In that face area. Okay. 16. Okay, that's a hit. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I rolled 13 damage. Uh, 13 damage? Yep. Nice. You do a pretty good job stabbing stabbing the spider. It is now Aubrey's turn. As a bonus action, I yelled, does anyone have a, a big roll of newspaper? They're... Not on me, no. That, that works really well at home. Can I use one of my actions or bonus action to try to get that short sword from Talon that he doesn't use anymore? Yeah, you can... Do a, you can do a, um, a dexterity and toss him the sword as your bonus action. That's Talon's bonus action. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess you still have a... Yeah. Do you want this for right now? I have nothing. I have no arrows. I have nothing. Oh, really? Do you want me to attack spells? Nope. <laughs> okay, I guess I, I throw him the short sword, but I say be careful with it, and I want it back when you're done, this battle. Just straight dex or what? Yeah. Nine. You throw it towards Aubrey, but it doesn't quite make it. 
So it's. I'm like emotionally attached to it, so I kind of like have second thoughts about throwing it as I'm, <laughs> as I'm throwing it to. My dad gave um, my dad gave me the sword. I'm sorry. It's closer to you, but on your next turn, you're gonna have to use your movement to go and your bonus action to pick it up. Can I use my action to pick it up? Well, if you use your bonus action to pick it up, you can actually still use it then. Oh, I can. Yeah. Okay, so I move towards it, pick it up. But am I close enough to the spider to hit? That's what I mean. You can move. You still have enough um, speed to get close enough to the spider to okay, hit yeah. it. Yeah, I go to the spider and I, I'm new to short sword. So what am I doing here? Dexterity D6. It's a dex weapon. It's a finesse. Am I proficient with short swords? Hard. Uh, yeah, you are because they're a simple melee weapon. Okay, yeah, there you go. So it's a plus yeah, three good. again, and then it's the D6. D6 for damage. Plus anything? Yeah. Plus plus your dex plus modifier. Dex. Okay. Cool. So I, mean? I swing the short sword at the spider for 21. Okay, that's a hit. And I roll for damage. Seven. Nice. Okay, so the spider, he aims his webbing towards the, uh, the beer club at Lager. And Logger is now trapped in a web. That didn't sound good. So now it is, Logger is stuck in the web. Ippa goes up to throw a rock at the spider in the direction that he thinks he should be throwing a rock to. Oh boy. <laughs> and that is a hit. And he does four damage. All right. Good nice. Good job, Will. Little guy. It is Stout's turn, and he does not hit it. Nova. I can't really see, but my roll is with um, disadvantage then, or? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm doing the classic uh, dagger and fist. So I'm going to start by attacking with my dagger, and my second roll was the lower one. It was 11. That's not a hit. All right. Can I still use my flurry blows then, or no? I'm done. No, because it doesn't hit. Okay, so I'm just done then. Oh, can, she might be able to use it you still. Can roll, you can still roll for it. I think you can still roll for it though. I think you can use the flurry of blows, but you have to roll for the attack. And they're all that was an attack. And they're all disadvantaged though, right? Because you're all in the dark. So, so do two bonus armor unarmored attacks and I roll for both that? of them. Yeah, but you have to expend a key point. Okay. It's probably worth it. Yeah, because we'll right really hopefully kill it. we'll get arrested. No matter what, after this. you can't see it unless we have some kind of. I guess I can the mic more. No matter what, you can't see this unless someone gets up a torch yeah. all of a sudden. So all just right, may so, well attack it. All right, so I have to roll it twice, two times though, or just yep. the, yeah. Well, okay. make make each check separately. So okay, seven plus. Okay, we'll just see. Oh, natural one for one of them. Miss, good, perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And um, and a 10. That is not a hit. So unfortunately, while you wind up to swing, you knock yourself into a web and you are now stuck in a web. Oh boy. Guys, help, I'm stuck. Could you make like rolls at her turn at some point to get out or do I have to cut yes, her out or something? Yes, you throw that you would make to get out of there. Okay. Talon. You only have one HP, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm debating on cutting her out now because instead of using my turn to cut her out, because I'm gonna cut her out. Can I, can I, can I try that? Yep. Um, one second here. I'm afraid that now that you're webbed up, they're spiders gonna attack you now and try to like like bite you and like right. wrap, wrap you up like okay. a spider would. Yeah. Are you attacking the webbing? I'm gonna attack whatever it takes me to, to cut her out. Okay. Yeah. So you'd have to roll a uh, attack roll on the webbing. Nice. Twenty one. Nice, that's a hit. 10 damage. Wait. Yep, Nova is now free from okay. the web. And then I'm gonna use my action oh, surge thanks. and attack the spider. Well, you can do an action surge, what? My, so my, my with my fighting level two, I get action surge, which lets me take a second action. Oh, cool. Like a full second action, so. It's a one-time use that you need a short rest, though. Yeah, short rest. I, after a short rest, I get another one, but for now okay. I, I have one still. So I'm gonna attack the spider with my action surge now. That's a 18. That's a hit. And that's a seven damage. Okay. Spider looks like it's getting defeated. It's not looking so good. I, 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 say, I cut out Nova, I also say like, get to the back. 
I don't want you. I don't want anyone having those having those spider wounds. I saw those dwarves. Those are nasty. All right. Um, it is now Aubrey's turn. All right. I go and move around to the back side of the spider so that okay. they would have to choose to attack me. True. Eighteen. That's a hit. Three. All right, the spider goes and attacks the one that was all tied up, which I believe is... Wait, wait, wait. Can I use my bonus action still? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I'm just going to heal Nova. Yeah, thanks. What's the word? I was like knowing what, what, what you do is your thing for the spells. It's fun to do. act about. Celery. I'm just like picturing you singing celery down the hallway. And like it, it just hits Nova a certain way that like... I'm do this again. does I help. Forget. I think it's a... Let's pull it up. Okay, I, I, I got it. It's a D4, my bad, or the D8. I thought, I thought it was a D4, as I thought. All right. Five. I totally balanced Six. It. Six healing. Nice. So, do you have to sing a song to do that? It's just a word. I, I said she, celery. Healing word. Oh. She's, I, I picture her singing hell or, celery. Hellery. It feels like my stomach was just filled with health. Just after the same as after eating some celery. The healthiest of vegetables. <laughs> yeah. The spider attacks Logger. the beer club guy who's already... In yeah, the web. That was logger. And he uses his sharpity fangs and he dead. No logger. My favorite game time beer. Do we what is out with you? Was? was it logger? Yep. All right, logger's dead. What is with you and beer? This is a new side. It's uh, all we had back in Zephyr, back in the cliff. Yeah, oh, no, we grew up. It was, we grew up. It was healthy. It was a healthy relationship, all right? We grew up with it. You're 16 is the age. <laughs> I heard I heard news from the capital about their about their twenty one age limit on alcohol. Yeah, okay. On beer. I guess. I Don't guess worry. That's Zephyr, fine. Zephyr, you have to be nineteen to have hard alcohol. It's sixteen for beer. Okay, that's how. It okay, works. let's just focus on the <laughs> fight, guys. Stout goes to make a move on the spider, and that's a hit. Picks up another stone, and just makes a little bit of a damage on there. Nice little one. One damage. <laughs> I love the one damage stone. Yeah. Better than what I'm doing. And Ippa oh, yeah. does not hit. He's distraught by the fact that his friend just died. And now it's Nova's turn. Okay, now that I got some health back, maybe I'll uh, run at that spider again. I guess still with disadvantage. All right, I got 17. That's it. Um, so I guess I'm using my dagger first. Six. Okay. That is a kill. Oh. So you go up towards the spider and you stick your dagger right through the top of its head. And it does that really cool spidery thing that all spiders do when they die with the legs. It like <laughs> flips over and like curls up. Yeah. And then he like flips over, legs go in. And then he like poof turns into like this purple magic-y color and disappears. <laughs> A little more satisfying than our house spiders. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Let me let you in on a little secret. Stout's actually my favorite kind of beer. Huh. How young is the age at the monastery for it? <laughs> Wait, wait, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. We'll just keep that to ourselves. I told you it was a secret. Okay. I'm pretty mature for my age. Aren't you like 14? (laughs) Yeah. I I think Dragon Ball is mature later, though. Or earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Dragon Ball is mature later. I mean, earlier. I keep saying later. Okay. Spider is now dead, and the beer boys are mostly dead. Do you want to keep going straight? And that is all for this episode. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am Harmony, a.k.a. Aubrey Weathers. I'm Brandon, a.k.a. Talon Dagonites. I'm Janelle, a.k.a. Nova Keldrar. And I'm your DM, Michelle. Thanks for listening. Peace.
I got plugs, you got plugs, we all got freaking plugs. If you guys want to follow Talon, you can follow him at Brandon Weens on Instagram. That's W-I-E-N-S. If you want to follow Nova, you can find her at Janelli03 on Instagram. That's Janelle with the Y-03. If you like what our DM has to say, you can follow her at Miss Michelle Marie 13 on Instagram. And if you like the frickin' rascal Aubrey, you can follow her at I'm So Harmony on Twitter. She's the worst. If you want to follow more of my projects, you can check out endlessnights.ca. If you have any questions or comments for our podcast, you can hit us up at twithapodcast at gmail.com. If you want to see any sights and sounds and anything else you can imagine about our adventure, you can see pictures at Troll Podcast on Instagram. And shout out to my friend Drew at wsound.ca. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.